more than half of the world lives in urban areas, but in Japan it's 92%. This creates challenges in terms of sustainability, so the country is responding by creating new types of cities. Welcome to SciTech. You don't need to be a mega city to be a smart city. Here in Japan, smaller communities are adopting groundbreaking technologies like the Internet of Things and big ideas like the sharing economy to become more sustainable. I'm off to visit two eco towns in Japan that are using the innovations of the fourth industrial revolution. We start with Fujisawa Sustainable Smart Town. Built on the site of an old Panasonic factory, this new community is home to about 2,000 people. Every house is equipped with solar panels and smart monitoring systems. This enables residents to track their energy consumption, both at the household and community-wide levels. Seeing the figures for yourself has a big impact. It encourages you to be more careful about eco-friendly actions. To reduce CO2 levels, residents can win rewards for green good deeds. They are also encouraged to cycle and share electric vehicles. Unlike other tech-centric smart cities projects, here residents were the first consideration. Planners laid out a 100-year vision and considered every aspect of their lives, from energy to security, mobility, wellness, community, and also emergency. With regards to sustainability, in this city we have fixed some environmental and energy objectives. They are linked to CO2 reduction, water savings, renewable energy use and, most importantly, a recovery plan in case of a natural disaster. So we've made sure it can be autonomous in electricity and food for three days. 18 organisations work together to deliver the project. As the need for a healthy and prosperous life increases in the world, and notably in China, Fujisawa's sustainable smart town is gaining recognition as a pioneering case study in Japan. The Yijing Smart City project in eastern China drew on its concept of lifestyle-based urban development in terms of town development and management. The project was well received. All the houses up for sale in the first phase were sold out immediately. We're now in another eco city in Japan, Kashiwanoha, and behind me is the town's powerhouse, and it's totally revolutionary. This smart grid facility includes one of Japan's biggest lithium ion storage cell systems, as well as solar and emergency gas power generators. Overseen by the town's smart center, the grid can respond immediately to a power shortage and be autonomous for three days. A unique energy management system designed after the town experienced a blackout following Japan's earthquake of March 2011. It's also helped reduce peak power consumption by over a quarter. At the moment, Japan is building smart cities based on a concept launched by the government called Society 5.0. And the core idea of this concept is people-centric or human-centric smart cities. Kashiwanaha is not just introducing the latest technology. We want to ensure locals can master it to build a place where everyone can feel happy. The Urban Design Centre is the place local residents can find out about their smart city and bond as a community. As a citizen today, I wanted to participate in a workshop for deciding how to build the city of the future through a collaboration between the residents and the region. Also, there are automatic buses near the smart city and I took part in the test run. This centre also serves as a hub for the partnerships between the project's different stakeholders from the public, private and academic worlds. That's because for Japan, the key ingredient to the success of the smart communities of tomorrow is collaboration. 